Hi guys, so here we have once again a case of Liz Truss, the Foreign Secretary, not understanding reality. It says here, according to Bloomberg, Liz Truss has signaled that she would give the Bank of England a money supply target to ensure it's tough on inflation if she wins the Tory leadership race and becomes Britain's next Prime Minister. Now, the article contains uh, this idea that Liz Truss wants to put pressure on the Bank of England, Britain's uh, central bank, and limit its ability to pump money into the economy because she believes that's the reason why inflation is so high and it's due to peak at maybe 11% this year. That's not why inflation is so high. The reason inflation is so high is because of rising energy prices and the knock-on effect of that. Now, people will say, well, yes, but the price at, you know, the price of fuel at the petrol station, why is that having an impact on the price of bread, for example? Because en fuel and energy are required to produce the bread, even fruit and vegetables that have to be maintained in greenhouses at a particular temperature, that's also a cost that's been passed on to the consumer. Now, either Liz Truss doesn't understand this or she's attempting to blame the Bank of England here, and I think it's the latter. Uh, I don't think she's that stupid. Maybe she is, but I don't think so. But this is once again an attempt to shift blame onto someone else. Who is responsible for this? Or who can deal with, with inflation? Well, it's the government, it's the treasury, it's government policy that can deal with this. For example, energy prices. If you nationalize some of these energy companies, you can fix the rate. You can eliminate things like the standing charge if you want to. If you're in charge, if you run the company, then you can decide. When it comes to, for example, the standing charge, there are people who have switched off their gas um, for heating and for cooking, but they're still paying massive bills because the standing charge is required. This is eating into their ability to pay uh, for other things, to, to buy other things. Liz Truss, once again, it, and it's part and parcel of these Tories shifting blame onto someone else, taking, you know, taking, never taking responsibility. The government is responsible for fiscal policy, not the Bank of England. The Bank of England is very limited in what it can do. It requires government assistance here, government intervention. And that's not going to happen because Liz Truss needs to keep these small government Tories on, on board if she wants to win uh, the leadership campaign. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.